The Langseth is actually the, the best marine seismic imaging facility in the country. The Langseth is a unique vessel because it has a global ranging capacity. We're able to look you know, up to 50, 60, 70 kilometers into the seafloor and really look at fundamental earth processes that we've never been able to see before. Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory of Columbia University has a long record of collecting marine seismic data and other unique data sets throughout the oceans. And they also have a long record of operating marine seismic vessels that are used by the whole U.S. community and from scientists around the world. The Langseth is a geophysical collection vessel for marine geology and geophysics. And so the ship is packed with a variety of different tools that allow us to look at both uh, the map of the seafloor itself, what lies just in detail below the seafloor, but then the seismic data that is brought in, the raw data, is mixed with the navigation data to create a seismic image at depth for the vessel. The kind of data that we acquire involves creating sound waves that go down in the earth, bounce off of different layers, come back, and we record them on a long cable filled with pressure sensors, hydrophones, and so this is called a a seismic streamer. And so these sound waves, it's kind of like making a sonogram. We can use the, the sound waves that have bounced off of different layers in the earth to make a picture of what the earth looks like. Alternately, the Langseth can be outfitted by uh, distributing those 18 kilometers among four four kilometer streamers and tow that array simultaneously. And in doing so, achieve a three dimensional picture of the seabed. Like a camera which uses pixels and a certain amount of resolution, the sound source has to be a clean signal as well. So we're doing acoustic imaging rather than using light. We're using sound as a way to penetrate the seafloor to really get a picture of what lies below. Every time we set off the sound source of the Langseth, um, we begin recording on all of those hundreds of pressure sensors. And so basically every time we put off the sound source and record, we collect something like 50 megabytes of data. And then we do that every uh, 25, 30 seconds for 30 days. And so you quickly can collect terabytes and terabytes of data. Sort of underlying in the middle of the vessel is kind of the nerve center for all the data collection that comes in here on the vessel. This all is basically being monitored on a 24-hour basis by both the science party and the marine science technicians. My work focuses on uh, plate tectonic boundaries. Um, so the upper layer of the earth is composed of a series of rigid plates that are moving around with respect to one another. So sometimes they're moving side by side, sometimes one is going underneath another one, and other times they're pulling apart. And it's at these boundaries that a lot of the action is happening on earth. This is where most of the earthquakes are generated. Um, sometimes those earthquakes can be very large and generate tsunamis. Um, and this is also where a lot of the volcanoes are observed. One of the reasons we understand many plate tectonic processes so poorly is that we can't actually go and walk around and look at the faults and see the magma chambers. But what we can do with the Langseth is actually use sound waves to create images of those structures, even though they're hidden beneath the, the seafloor. I started my studies as a geologist on land and then realized that there was quite a bit more of a, an adventure for my liking to go to sea and to understand what happens in those hidden areas beneath the waves. So I turned my attention to marine geology and the fascination of being able to go to unexplored areas or to recover sediment cores from areas that haven't been examined before satisfies the thrill to be the first person to see new evidence of how the world works. You know, there's limited opportunities to go out and really explore the world around us and, you know, and, the, and the way that the Langseth is able to. You know, it's just, I think, as we've discovered with global telecommunications, making us all not so far away from each other, I think we're discovering the same thing in our research, is that the more we continue to look, the more links we're able to finally start to explain, you know, how the dynamic Earth we live in interacts with, you know, what we are doing on the planet as well.